Hi, Ed. Stand on. How are you? How are you? Hug. Hug, of course. Thanks for taking the time, first of all. Thank you. It's really appreciated. Of course. I want to talk about all that, that journey. It's amazing what is happening to you right now. Um, does all this go beyond the dreams that that little boy had back then in Halifax? Yeah, yeah. I don't think any little boy in England thinks that a, a career worldwide will happen. I wanted to be a bit like a touring musician in, in England and it just kind of snowballed from there. So yeah, it definitely went way beyond what I thought was possible. And it's very impressive to see you up on stage, like going alone by yourself with your guitar in front of huge crowds. Do you miss sometimes sharing the stage with other musicians or with a band? Why did you choose to tour alone? Um, you know, I've never had a band, ever, ever. I'd started playing, performing live around 14 and I used a loop pedal then. So it's been 12 years of doing that. And after 12 years, it's, it's kind of become like a guitar to me. It's kind of like another instrument that I use. So I don't really, I don't really feel the need to get a band. I think I'll only need to get a band when I can't be as active, you know, when I'm older and my back is buggered or whatever and I can't jump on boxes, then I'll probably get a band. And do you feel the, the, the pressure? Do you have some stress before like getting up on stage? No, no, Som sometimes. First Wembley Stadium gig, because well, that was my first big stadium gig, uh, I felt nervous, and Glastonbury Festival, I felt nervous. But those are the only two times in the last like four years. You are right now the top selling artist. You have that great talent to write great pop melodies, uh, romantic lyrics. Do you feel uh, a pressure now to like put up some new songs, it's again? Uh, it, it, do you feel a, a, that kind of yeah. pressure? I think so, yeah, but I don't, I don't know what a hit is. Um, and I don't think anyone really does, otherwise record companies would have hit after hit after hit. I think songs become successful because people like them. So I'm going to create music that I like playing and probably one day people will stop liking it and it will stop being a hit, but um, yeah, it hasn't happened yet. I'm, I'm only, I've never actually used any like secret formula to make a song a hit, I just make music that I like. So um, yeah, when that stops happening, I can't blame myself, that's just the way of the world. Mm. And you basically can't go out without being recognized. I heard that you're got, you, you got rid of your cell phone. Yeah. You quit Twitter several times for different reasons. Um, is, is, this, um, is there a price to pay to, to be famous? Is, this, is, is it worth it? Yeah, definitely. I get to play a show every day to people that really love my music and I spend My, my whole career is making people happy. That's, that's what my job is. I think that's, I think that's awesome. With, with the phone and Twitter thing, that, that's more of a personal thing. Like yeah. I, just, I get dragged into that personally as, a, as not Ed the performer, but Ed the person. I kind of like get dragged into it and it uh, distracts from my day. And it distracts from my personal day. I'll be like hanging out with mates or my girlfriend or, you know, like, and I'll be drawn into a phone screen, mm -hmm. which I, I don't really, I think, and I think a lot of people do that. It's not just, it's, it's, it's I, not just me. I, sh I should do that. Yeah. I should get, get rid of my cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, and with this tour, you get to see the world, basically. You are here in Montreal tonight, but you're touring all around the yeah. world. How do you find the welcoming here in, in Quebec, in Montreal? Uh, Quebec was really, really loud yesterday, really loud and like vibrant. Yeah, it felt, it felt good. I played the Bell Centre before and it was wonderful then as well. Um, yeah, Canada's, like, I know it's part of North America and you're very close to America, but it's such a different country to play. It's such a different vibe here. Um, yeah, and I, I do really enjoy it. And do you speak a little French or not? <laughs> you have the choice at school, at our, our school, you do French or German, and okay. everyone says German's easier. Well, so oh I, yeah. I took German and still failed, so. Yeah. You, probably you, you... I wouldn't be good at French. No? I wouldn't be good at French. I love France, though. I love France. We're playing, we're playing Stade de France, doing two Stade de France's, which, which is really exciting. I work with an artist called Nekfu as well, who okay. is... Is he not... He's, I imagine he's big over here, right? He's French, but... I don't know. Rapper. He's good. Check him out. Okay, good. Thank you. Nice uh, thanks a lot. Thanks nice a lot. I, I'm also... I'm always so nervous when I'm getting interviews yeah, be, in English, that, that, that's nervous. why. Because my if, if I was interviewing you <laughs> in French, like I, I wouldn't get past bonjour. Thank you.